predators. You know what that is? Yeah. So, do you by chance know why I'm here today? Not really. Not really? No. Have you been speaking with anyone online? Friends, not. Would you like, care to have a conversation with me before I take this to police? Sure. Can I step inside? Can we, sure. we step inside? Sure. Okay. Thank you, sir. And I am recording for my safety and yours. Okay. Excuse me. Uh, I don't know if you might want to turn that down. So we do record for our safety and yours. Okay. Okay. Um, took us a little bit to track you down. Um, because when we put in your phone number, it comes back to your mom's house. Okay. Okay. Um, and so, what are the names of the young ladies you're talking to? Do you remember? No. You don't? No, I stopped talking. Okay. You did? Yes. When did you stop talking? Do you know? Do you Not remember? really. I haven't been talking. So I stopped. Okay. So how old did they say they were? 16. You sure? Yeah. Cause I'm, 15, 16. Well, because I'm standing here looking at it. Um, and right here, it says... I'm only 13. So, you sure you want to stick with that? That's what I was told. Do you want to look at it? Can you sure. see that right I there? I can see. Okay. So, she asked you, do you think I'm sexy? And you said, yes, I do. Do you like older guys? Do you like younger girls like me? Yes. Send me a sexy pic. So she sends you her phone number, and you said, if I was there, what would we do? I'm sorry. Does your parents know you're talking to older guys? No, my mother doesn't know. Are you kidding me? I would be dead dead. Send me a sexy pic. I don't send those here, sorry. If I was there with you, what would we do? You kept going and going to over here, like, yeah, this is where you started texting her, right? Is that right? And her cousin, correct? I think so, yeah. And here is her cousin, and you said the same thing to her and you asked her how old she is. How old did she say? 14. What, what's it say right there? 13. Is that you? Yeah. What'd you ask her? Okay. Remember her? Uh, I think so, yeah. What'd you say? You're cute. What'd you say here? If I was there with you, what would we do? And she said, I don't know, you tell me. And you said, anything fun? I said, she says here, what would you want to do? And what'd you say? What it says. What'd you say? The word what it says. Is it hard to say because you know you said it to a child? No, it's not hard to say. What's it, it say? Just... What did you want to do with her? Not, not, I didn't want to do with her. I just said, it. that's all I said. You're saying if you were there with her. Yeah. You would want to fuck. Correct? Yeah. As long as you don't hurt me, I'm down for whatever. What'd you ask her? How big are your boobs? Then you Why would you ask her in the first place? Children? No. Do you have nieces and nephews, anything? Yes. What would you, how would you feel if someone your age said shit like this to one of them? Be upset. 
If you were my roommate, how would you wake me up? You would have to tell me how you liked me and woke up before I could know that. What'd you say? What did it say? Morning that? sex? What it say Is that what it says? Morning sex? Yes. Do you want to tell me how I wake you up? What's this say? What it says there. Read it for me. You wrote it. I've been looking for you all day. Read it for me. That's the least you could fucking do. I would come in your room and do. To your room, pull off your blanket, pull down your shorts and panties, spread your legs, and start to eat your tight, wet pussy. Right? Is that what that says? Yes. Okay. Just making sure. <clears throat> you won't hurt me, will you, though? <clears throat> no. So you stop talking, but sir... With two 13-year-old girls, you crossed the line a way long time ago because you said the same shit to both of them. The same kind of shit. So, don't you have a girlfriend? Yes. Where's she at? She's not here. Where's she at? She's out with, with her friend. Mm. Do you think you should call her? Maybe let her know what's going on right now? You don't think maybe she has the right to know? Since this is her apartment, right? It's her friend's apartment, so let me sit down for a minute. Okay, go ahead. You're fine. Catch your breath. What would happen if this was your two family members? Be upset. What would you want to happen? If a grown man was talking to someone in your family like that that's 13... Two. Talk to him, see what, why he did it. So what's the reason? You can't give me a reason, so what's no, the... There's, it just... It happened. Do you talk to all young girls like that? No. Why these two? I mean, there's got to be some kind of reason. You've never done this before? No. You've never talked to a, a young girl that age before? No. So you wouldn't have any photos on your phone of girls like that? No. So do you want to call your girlfriend and let her know what's going on? Not really. Do you, well, I mean, would you rather the police show up and let her know what's going on when, the, when that happens? Or no. her come home to that? No. You might want to call and inform her of what's taking place here right now. So what's going to happen? I'm going to call law enforcement and turn these in. Okay. And they'll go from there. Once I do that, it's up to them. Okay. But I will be calling them out here. So you may want to get a hold of her and let her know. I don't do this without getting law enforcement notified. So, okay. Because where I come from, you've broke the law more than once. So I think that you should probably contact her and say, hey, this is happening here right now. And they're going to contact law enforcement. So she has the option to come back here and not be surprised when she, when the police are already here. Don't you feel like that would be fair for her? She didn't deserve, she don't deserve this. Is there another way we could settle it? Is there another way we could not get the police involved? No. Sorry. I, that's what I do. That's what happens when you try to talk to a child about fucking them. It's not okay. Never has been and it never will be. So this is what I do. I come here. And I try to find out why you thought that this was okay. Make sure it was you. Which you said that it was, correct? This was you, right? Yeah. So I verify that, and then I contact law enforcement. And I let them know that I've spoke with you, and these are your chat logs, and then they take it over from there. 
But you have a whole girlfriend, and I feel like, I mean, she deserves to know. What would you like me to, well, I mean, what would be ideal for you? Just me to just walk out and leave and trust you when you say I'll never do this again? Yes, it will not happen again. Do you know how many times we hear that? No, trust me, it, this will not happen again. <laughs> I'm. He's, see, this is my friend I here. Know, I know, I know. This is friend. my friend, his name is LARP. Yeah, I know. Okay, ask him how many times, he's only been on a few of these with but me. I'm ask just, him how many times he's heard that. How many times? Every time. But it won't have, to me, it, yeah. I won't have it because you guys come in here and show me this stuff. It's like, oh shit. Yeah. And I see it on TV too. That's why I said it won't happen again if we, if we don't do it. I'm just saying. So you thought it was a good idea to try it? It's you know how how guys try stuff. I'm not I'm not trying yeah, to say, say I know, that I'm I I, I, I know it was I know it was something it was something I should have never done. But like I said, this will not happen again. If you guys trust me, this will not happen again. I don't trust you. Not at all. I like I from reading these and how fast you went on these from hi you're cute to but like I, I said fuck I you. said this won't happen it won't happen again. And then asking to see her photos of her, I don't know. It won't happen again. I'm sorry, but no. I think that you should call your girlfriend. Um, you can inform her. I can stand here with you if you'd like, or I can go outside. Either one. Don't fall. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Try throw something in the garbage and I. I can stand right here with you while you call her, and speak to her too if you'd like, or I can go outside while you call her. But I'm, I'm calling law enforcement. I feel like this was way too easy for you. You went way too fast into what you wanted to do to these little girls. Like it was like, no thing. I was, it's just, I wasn't going to do anything to them. It's just how people text. Like I said, it won't, it, like I said, I won't, it, this won't happen again. Let's ask him. How many times you ever said something like that to a 13 year old girl? Never. Not one time. Never. Never cross the Ever. line. It's not something how people just text. That's not well, that's like, not how if, that goes. If, like I said, it won't happen again. If we if you guys don't call the cops on this No, I'm calling. It, it won't happen again. I'm calling. I'm saying it will not happen again if you guys don't call I mean the you cops. can say that, but I'm calling because there's times that we call the cops and they get arrested and do time and get out and still do it again. But like I said, it, I won't do it again. I know what you said. Do you want to call her or do you want me to step outside and just call the police? Well, what, once you call the police, do they, will they come right away or will they? Yeah, they'll come out. I'm going to request that they come out. Even, even if I said it's not going to happen again? Yes. Because like I said, it just will not happen again. If, I know you if, keep saying that, but right. here's the thing. These are children. So I really don't care what you say at this point. I don't, I really just don't care. Like I'm giving you the option to call your girlfriend. I'll stand here with you if you'd like, or I can go outside, but I'm contacting law enforcement. What do you do for a living? Do you work with kids or anything like no. that? No. Kids don't live here? No. So, do it's you want to call me, her or you want me, me to just go ahead and go? Me, it's just me and my girlfriend and her friend. Okay, so, so do, and, and two And two cats. Okay, so do you want to call her or do you want me to just go ahead and go do what I need to do? Do you want her to find out from a stranger or from you? Well, she'll get mad either, either way. So. Well, yeah, but don't you think if you're at least somewhat honest with her that... She'll still be mad. Well, I mean, that's kind of the price you pay when you're living in their apartment and you're texting two teenagers wanting to fuck them, right? Am I wrong? 
no. sad that that's your mentality, bud. No, you're not wrong. Either way, she'll be mad at me. Do you want to make that call from jail if they arrest you? Because we don't know they may arrest you. What do you mean they might? We don't know if they, they may come out here and see your chat logs and say, well, you know, he's broke the law. He's going to jail right now. Don't you think maybe you want to give her a heads up or would you rather call her from jail and say, hey, I'm in jail for this. You're going to get me well, out. She'll still be mad anyways. If I, I mean, call, if I call her now. Okay, so then I'll go she, out here and call law enforcement and you can call her from jail, I guess. We'll see what happens if they arrest me. What do you think? You're just going to not tell her? No. Well, she'll find out anyways. So I have her phone number. She'll find out anyways. She's going to find out. I have her phone number. I have her name. I have What's her name? No, I'm, I'm just I'm just asking. I'm not saying that on, on my video. Sorry. She's not the one that did it. No, I know. But I have, her, I have her information. So, I mean, whether you contact her now or not, she will know. Otherwise, she'll know any other way. Yeah, so. she's going to know either way, so... You're just not man enough to spit it out? No, I'm not, I'm just saying that she's going to get mad at me. Of course. So. Who wouldn't? I'm mad at you. He's mad at you. She is. Who's that? Is that her? Huh? Was that Who her? Was that? that wasn't her. Was it, was it Jen? Who? Was it Jen? It was Jen. No. Okay. You would know. You talked to her. Told her you wanted to fuck her. In other way, if I call her, tell her now, and I, and I call her other time, she'll be mad at me. I mean, it's kind of like a ramp, uh, like a band aid, don't you think? Grab that sucker and just rip it the fuck off. Be a man about it. Own up to your shit. Don't you think you should be accountable? You think her neighbors should know? There's no kids around here. I'm sure kids come in here. Children, you, you're... That, that, I, that I know of. And I'm fucking retarded, too. Okay. I didn't say that. No, I'm saying that because you want me to believe it. Are you hot? No, just sweating a little bit. Oh. Do you want to? Do you want to call her? Not really, because she'll be mad at me anyways if I call She's her. She's going to be mad at you no matter what. I know that. Because probably what, I'll go outside here and I'll make a call to the uh, to law enforcement and then I'll look her number up and give her a call and let her know that law enforcement's about to be at her apartment. It's her roommate's apartment. Okay. Well, that person, is that person with her? No, she's at work. Right oh, now. well, it's not going to be good for y'all. <laughs> You probably should call her. Do you want me to go out and call her? No. Because if you don't, I'm gonna. I think so. I'm gonna call too. Either way, you're owning up to your shit today. Were you just talking to another child a little bit ago? No. You sure? And like I said, honesty is always the best policy, right? Am I wrong? No. Yet. 
I am. I miss. I miss. I sorry. Honesty is the best policy, yes. right? I don't know why you said no. <laughs> it's okay. I understand. A lot of pressure. <coughs> <coughs> So, I just want to be clear because I'm about to, like, I don't want to just keep standing here. No, I know, I know. So, if you're not going to call her, I'm going to step outside, I'm going to call law enforcement, and then I'm going to make sure she gets a call because it's not fair that the roommate has y'all here and you're doing this. I think somebody needs to know yeah, that what's happening here. Thing, yeah, like, do you have Telegram? No. On your phone? No. I had it for my I had it for my one of my jobs. Where is your phone? Do you have it on you? Right there. I oh, had it from okay. I had it from one of my jobs and I got hacked. So I could Oh I you got hacked. It was a uh, nursing home that I worked at. And somehow it got hacked. Oh the one your mom is in? No 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 no. This oh. is a different one. Because I heard you worked at the one your mom was in. No. No, I worked in Burridge. Oh, okay. She's not in Burridge. Oh. What were the girls' names that you were talking to? You don't remember either one of them? Nope, because I stopped talking to them. <laughs> it's weird to me that you would talk to two 13-year-old girls like that and you can't even remember their names. Nope, I'm not clear of memory. No? Nope. I stopped talking to them. So. Okay, so do you, you want me to go out here and make these calls? You'll be okay in here by yourself? Yeah. You sure? All right. You sure you don't want to give her a call? Because I can stand here and talk to her with you if that makes it any easier. No, because it's still she'll still get mad at me. So if I make if I make the call now or she finds out later on, she'll mm. still be mad at me. Either way, she'll be mad at me. So. What app did you start talking to these girls on? Do you remember? I think I started with M, I think. How many different apps do you have on your phone? Just, the, I used to be on the, with this, that was dumb after I, I stopped talking to them on that app. Hmm. I see your chat logs on that app. Why don't you bring those up? So, just so you know, we know that you're talking to other children already besides these two you might want to answer that you should answer it's ohio i, I know answer it it's ohio I don't answer know it ohio. okay answer it please and put it on speaker for us hello hi this is um vap slackers against predators southern bell calling you you've been talking to my 12 year old about 30 minutes ago Can you hear me, David? Yes. David, put me on speakerphone, please. You're on speaker, love. I can hear you. Okay, this is VAP, uh, Southern Bell, Bikers Against Predators. Hi. David, I've been speaking with you for about a year. You just messaged my 12-year-old on Meet 24 about 30 minutes ago telling me I was sexy and wanting to know if my parents knew I was on the app. Oh. And I'm calling you because you've been talking to me for a year and you don't know it. Oh. But and sir, it, I'm not 12. Oh, and it sounds just like the chat logs we just read together, yeah. doesn't it? He loves to role play. He likes to have naked pictures and he likes girls in panties. And yeah, we've been watching you for quite a while. Do you know how many Tetra groups have talked to you, David? No. Do you know how many decoys I have been over the last one year talking to you? No. You have spoken to me on six different occasions, and I have gone as young as 11. Wow. You're that sick? Do you know what you're programmed into my phone as? <clears throat> not, not David Ritz, because that's your name. I have you in there as David Gross, because you're disgusting. Thanks. Thank you, love. I'll make sure. 
I will make sure you get the information that you need to turn in those chat logs as well. Thank you, love. Uh-huh, you're welcome. Bye. So now, sir, sir. I'm listening. Would you like to call your girlfriend? In other ways, I'm, in other ways, I'm, I'm. You're fucked. You might want to call her. She'll find out, she'll find out. Uh, if I don't call okay, her now, so I'm going to go out here in the parking lot and call her my damn self. Because you're too much of a pussy to do it. But you talk to children like they're grown-ass women that want to hear that shit. You're disgusting. <sighs> call her. Don't be a pussy your whole life. Man up. Take some fucking ownership for this shit. Because now you got a whole year's worth of chat logs under your belt. You might want to let her know. She'll know. If I don't call her now, she'll know. She'll know when I'm not here. God, you are a pussy. I'm not a pussy. Then call her. I don't want to give her the stress. <laughs> she'll get the stress anyway. That's but, right. I'm going to make sure of it. I'm going outside. I'm going to call her and law enforcement, and we're going to get these chat logs turned in on you because you're fucking disgusting. Do you do any drugs? Nope. Do you drink? Nope. Don't smoke either. So you just lay here and talk to little girls online and about how you want to fuck them, right? Not all the time. Second, guys. Oh, now. What's her name? Who are you calling now? I'm calling your girlfriend. What's her first name? Kim. Your call has been forwarded to. Do you want to call her? She might be on the line if they went to voicemail. What was the number you? What was the number? I'm not going to say. Um, that out loud. I will show you. That's 677? Oh, I'm sorry if I said that too loud. No. It's 4077. That's her roommate. Okay. That 4077. That's her so roommate. So that's whose apartment this is. So I should just keep calling her then. Well, she's at work and she's a nurse. Nurse's aide, so she can't answer the phone. I'll leave her a voice now. Your call has been forwarded to an automated voice.
the person whose name is on the So I'd say you might want to call your girlfriend before her friend calls her. Because don't you think that when this, when this pops up on her phone, she's going to hear it? Still going to be the same thing. She'll still be mad at me. Even if her roommate calls her. So. You aren't even going to give her the option to fucking come here and decide whether or not she wants to put up with your shit. You're going to call her from jail or wait until we're gone from here so you can twist this to some disgusting type of shit that ain't true is what you're going to try to do. No. Did I say I was going to do that? No. No, of course you're not going to say you're, that's what you're going to do. But that's what you, you want to do. You want to twist this to try to hide, of what, hide what you've been doing for the last fucking year. Absolutely. Absolutely, that's what you want to do. Can but we guess bring what? Your hand back up here. Your huh? Bring, we bring your hand back up here. Your phone Thanks. number. Thank you. Yeah, I just need I'll to just, see your hand. I was just scratching my foot. Your phone that's number all. took us to your mother's house. Okay. Everything about you took us there. You might want to call her yourself, so I don't have to. Well, it's so she's still gonna know know what happened, even if I call her or you call her. Okay. Well, I'll just here in a second. I'm gonna go out here in the parking lot and I'm gonna send her the link to this live on her Facebook. Is that okay? Not really. You have no choice at this point. You won't call her. We don't have to do it. We don't have to. Are trying to make a deal here? I'm trying no, to, I'm not. I am trying to make sure that she's one of them. And you're choosing not to just pick up the phone and call her. If, if you I, spoke if, to two if, children. If I call her, you call her, she's still going to get mad. And so. what's your fucking point? You spoke to two children like you were a big man. Call your woman and speak to her like that. Is that how you talk to her? No. Why not? You respect her more than you would two 13-year-olds and an 11-year-old? <clears throat> it's weird to me that you can talk to two children, three children, however many children you're fucking talking to on that phone over there, but you can't pick up the phone and call her and give her the courtesy of telling her about what you've been doing. Is that her friend? No. Email. Hmm. You know, the way she'll find out, she'll then find out. Then call her. Exactly. If May as well pull the band-aid off now, if right? Call her, and she finds out the other way, she'll still get mad. So. Somebody's calling you over there. Answer. I don't know who it is. Answer it. I don't know who it is. So answer it. If I don't know who it is, I don't answer, answer it. Answer it. It may be Jen. Answer. Put it on speaker. Yes. Hello? 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 Hi. Is this David? Yes. Hey, David. It's Big Country from Big Country's Predator Exposure. <laughs> You've been talking to one of my decoys. I've actually been talking to two of my decoys. Wow, so that's three, four, five children now. Uh, uh, do you remember Jasmine? Oh, of course not. No. No, you don't remember asking if you could go down on her and uh, lick her pussy and I love the confused look on your face right now, sir. Mm -hmm. Big country. Big country. Big country. Tell David how many people are looking at him. Um, we have you up to 500 viewers right now, and it's being shared across Big Country uh, Predator Exposure, PHI, BAP, uh, Arizona Predator uh, Prevention. Epic and a bunch of others. Sir, you are outed across the country and you are going to be famous. 
we're going to make you go viral. <clears throat> You've heard of Instagram, Facebook. We're going to make you famous. <clears throat> No. But I typically will tell people that I am going to help them. I am going to make sure they they get the help they need. For you, it is to be locked up behind bars. You are a serial predator. There is no help for you. He won't do it again. But you won't do it again. Nope. <laughs> you are already up to, we're up to five standing here right now just counting. Oh, um, I think somebody else wants to call you. Oh. Okay, we got another call coming in, sir. Popular guy. You're famous already, huh? Hmm. Sure, you don't want to call her yet? Like I said, there's a way she'll find out. That's true. You're right. She's gonna find out. She'll, she'll get mad at me. She's my. She could possibly be finding out right now on Facebook. She could be watching. This live on Facebook right now for what you know, right? You don't want to call her while I'm on Facebook live? She'll find out. She'll, if I don't call her now, she'll still find out. Do you so, want to wave hi to her? No. Why not? Because she's not on Facebook. She is on Facebook. I have the link to her Facebook with your picture in her profile photo with her, sir. Do I need to show you? She's probably she's she's not on she's not on Facebook right now. <laughs> all we gotta do is send her a link on Messenger, sir. That's all it takes. Here's the link. Come quick, sir. I'm just waiting to see if her name might pop up. <laughs> but then they're out somewhere. She's probably sitting somewhere disgusted and in shock because you aren't man enough to call her and tell her yourself. You'd rather let social media tell her for you. But she'll find out when she's when going I'm to for it. sure. She is. You are absolutely so. right. I'm just waiting to see. I think someone else is going to try to call you. So we're just waiting to see if they want to speak with you as well. Because we're up to what's that now? One, two, three, four, five teens. Up to four teens, five children. Are you scared? A little bit. What are you scared of? Jail? Or not having a girlfriend? Both. Oh. <clears throat> so let me ask you this. In 20 years, how do you think one of these 13-year-old girls is going to remember you? When they think back to when they were 13 and they got online and this guy named David hit them up. Do you think it's going to affect her? Do you care? Yes. No, you don't. You can't even remember their fucking names. And you've got more than two. Hi, kitty cat. Dude, hell, you've got more than three, four, five. How many more you got on that phone over there? How many photos you got of children on your phone? None. I think you're a liar. You can't even look at me and say it. You're a liar, sir. I have no, no little girls on my phone. You're a fucking liar. <clears throat> Do you want me to go call her? 
Because, I, like, I'm really getting tired of standing here for nothing. You're too pussy to call her, obviously. Like I said, she'll find out. She'll okay. find out. Either, so go, I call, okay. either I call her or she finds out the Okay, well, I'm going to call her now. I'm going to go send her this link right now so she can rewind this video and watch it. You think it would be a little better coming from you? Like I said, if I call her now, she'll know. If I don't call her, she'll know Nanya, that. Nanya, can you send the link for me, please? Thank you. I would appreciate it if you could. I mean, have some respect for her, man. He has none. That's why he's trying to fuck children. A 13-year-old would look back and remember your face and go, that dude was disgusting, and I can't believe he talked to me like that. It's not, it's not me meeting him, it's just talking. You got me instead. Because you keep jumping around just talking to little kids. Telling them how you want to fuck them and lick their pussy. Yeah, well, just talking. Do you talk to your nieces and nephews like that? No. Why not? You're just talking. You're just talking, right? I bet if I go knock on your neighbor's door and ask them, can this guy next door tell your grandchildren how much he wants to lick their pussy? What do you think your neighbor's going to say? They'll be mad. Hmm. Everybody's going to be mad tonight, huh? And you're not man enough to face it. You can't even take accountability for all this shit. You stirred it all up. But fuck everybody. They can all deal with it. I'll sit here and pout. Because that's what you're doing. You're pouting. I'm not pouting. They're going to be mad. That's pouting. You are pouting. You are a grown-ass man pouting. Because she's going to be mad. I'm just saying. It's not pouting. <laughs> call her. Like I said, if, if I call her now, <laughs> she'll be mad. If I don't call her, I don't tell her way, she'll still be mad. So there's not a win-win situation. No, there is not. You should unblock Jen. Jen's trying to call you. You want to talk to Jen? I don't know who she... No. Jen, one of the 13-year-old girls you wanted to fuck. <coughs> Here, hang on, guys. Say hi. Hi. Who's, who's this, David? Hi. Who's... Say hi, David. David. How you doing, David? I'm good. David, I see you have a little issue here. Okay. Okay, it's not okay, David. You're taking no accountability. No, that's right. <clears throat> at all. At all. There's almost a thousand people watching you right now, and you have no remorse. I like you understand what I'm you understand what I'm trying to talk to you like do you understand? Yeah. What do you understand? That I just wasn't bad. What else? That like I said, I did something bad. I should have never done what I did. Right? Um, is it minors hooking up talking sexual? Um how many minors was you talking to? We've counted five so far. Five? Wow. Um, One for a year. Don't you know that's all illegal? Even talking like that is illegal? Well, this one's not going to do it again. He's not going to do it again, though. Do you, do you, no, no, no. you want to tell him who... Oh, I'm your gallery to Sam here. I want you to show me a picture gallery. I have no pictures of girls on there, of young girls on there. No, I just, that, 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 see, you're not listening. I want you to show her the gallery. I am not taking your word for it. Your word is shit. There's nothing. All I have on there is girl, uh, adults from uh, Facebook. That's all I, I have on you. there. Like I the five you. children or from me. Facebook? I don't believe you. How many other apps do you have on that phone besides Me24? I don't have 24. I don't have Me24. I got rid of it. I don't believe you. He said he you got rid of it. He deleted you it. Did he it. Said. What, 40 minutes ago? It's not, on my, it's not on my phone. 
Dave, look at the camera. I want you to look at me eye to eye, because right now I just want you to look at the camera. I'm looking at you. Stop lying. Uh -huh. Grab your phone. And let's see these apps that I you have. Lying. And show me the picture gallery that you have. There should be no why, ifs, or buts. Let's go. See, all I have, see, there's. Let's there's, go. I don't want to hear you. I'm talking. showing you Smoke. right now. Oh, you talk every time you, you, you lips move, Open you your photos, please. Your there's all my photos right there. Check there's, his hidden, check his hidden folders. How many apps he has on that phone? There's nothing there. That's the Cubs convention. What is this? Who is she? Who is she? From Facebook. It's uh, no, I mean, it's her. So is that what you do? You just get on Facebook and steal people's photos? No, I just. The that's in I your like. gallery. She didn't send you that. Yeah, there's more in there too. Keep going. Well, that's keep going. okay. Those are, keep going, please. Right, those keep are going. Talk, no more talk. Just keep this, going. This, this, be quiet. this is show, show and tell. Right. This is show and tell time now. What about slow down, sir? Those are not Does, young girls. Has your girlfriend seen this? She knows I have them. Those are just girls in bikinis. That's all they are. Head back out of there. Dave, I want to bust your bubble right now, Dave. Flip that up so I can see out. all of your apps. Okay, there's... Slow down. I'm not going fast. Yes, you're going too fast. Slow down, boy. If my finger goes fast... Dave, I'm going to bust your bubble you real quick. I want you to pay attention to what I'm about to tell you. Listen to your him. Wife, your listening. wife knows, man. My your girlfriend. wife knows, all right? Your friends know. So you have you have a no you have notifications there. Is that from where you were just hitting up the be, the no. little girl earlier? No. Yeah, I just hit him up on. I just meow. hit him up on. Meow. Meow Cafe. 24. He's still there. Click on He's that. He's still there. What meow yeah. cat? For cats. How about cats? Yeah, that's where little girls hang out. That's where little girls hang out. No, it's a me it's, it's a meow world. Check his messages on Facebook. Go out of there. Go to Messenger. Now he's still on me. And he's still on me. Twenty-four. Stop lying, David. You're lying out your ass. See, there's no little girls there. Friends. It's nothing but females. Those are friends. You could see. They're they're <laughs> over Sorry. age. Messages. So your girlfriend knows. I'm just they're saying. They're all over age. They're not underage girls on there. Those are all underage little girls, huh? No, they're overage. They're all over 21. How do we know this for sure? Where did you meet these girls? Huh? It's just uh, accepting friends on Facebook. David, can I ask you a question? I'm listening. You me, has any other men um, hit you, gave you links to no. share or anything? No. No, honestly, it's not your fault. They said, you know, they sent you something. No. You know, it's not your fault. You know, no other man sent you links? No. No? Your girlfriend knows you talk to all those women? Or females, I should say? Because I don't know that they're all women. Yeah, they're all women. I don't know that. She knows you talk to all them? Yeah. I don't talk to them. I just say their pictures. You have all those fucking messages in there. What do you mean? Most of them are... There's no fucking way some chicken in a bikini looking like that is going to hit you up talking about, hey, babe, get the fuck Dave, out of here. Can you hear me? Hold on, Sammy. Dave, I want you to actually, <laughs> I want you to answer this trick with, like, with everything you got. Do you think 13-year-old little girls find you attractive? They think they're like a, like a big brother or something like that. That they fuck? Like a big brother. <laughs> that they fuck? Did you, have you ever had sex with your little sisters or anything? No. Or little cousins? No. So how would you say like a big brother after you said all the explicit shit? Do you have a sister? I got three sisters. Did you try to fuck them? No. 
make it make sense then. <clears throat> what can a little girl do to you, Dave? What was that? Answer this, answer this with, with honesty. I want you to be real honest Excuse with me. this one. What can a little girl do for you? Nothing much. So why would you talk to them sexually and want to do all those nasty things with them? I'm talking to you, Dave. I need an answer. Well, give me a chance. Don't think too long, because we think too long, you're thinking wrong. So let's go. Were you hurt as a child? Were molested or anything as a child? No. See, you answered that question really quick. My parents don't do that to me. Don't do that. So. How long have you been having this compulsion, Dave? Honestly, how long have you been looking at little girls the way you have been taught? We just gotta help us. We gotta start somewhere. I know that. I'm done. I was trying to explain to them that well, they're gonna laugh if I say it again. That I told them that if they don't do what they have to do, that it won't happen again. Dave, you're not answering my question. You just you just blew by my whole question, now, Dave. When does this start? When does this compulsion with looking at little girls mm. start? I don't know. Over a year ago. Well, no, I mean, come on, it has to be somewhere. I'm not trying to knock you, Dave. I'm trying to have a, a civil conversation. Yeah, I know. You. I'm trying to get you all the help you're going to need. So we got to start somewhere. When did you start feeling this compulsion? I don't remember. You don't remember? Was it yesterday? No. Was it two days ago? No. Was it a week ago? No. Two years ago? Not really. Be honest. I am being honest. Okay, so how, where did you start watching these, these images to for you? Okay, did you watch, um, child porn? That's where it started? No, not much. Not much? I mean, no, 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 I, I didn't say not much, not watching the porn, not watching. How did it start? Like it, how? It, like it, how did it come about? It just happened. You just woke up and said, "Boom! I'm attracted to kids." No, look. I mean, I mean, did you start by watching porn, certain kind of porn? I used to watch porn, but then okay. that's what started. Okay, start. Okay, was you watching daddy, daddy daughter stuff? Here and there. Okay, now we get it somewhere. But like I, I said to your two colleagues here, that if they don't pursue the rest of it, that I told them that I'm getting older, that it's not going to happen again. We're not talking about that, Dave. We're trying to get you some help. No, no, I know, I know that, but I'm don't, saying. Don't bring that up right now. We're trying to. We're trying to re, I don't want. Refreshing your memory. I don't right? want to call the police. That's what I'm trying to say. It's okay, but. You don't say things that we... But I'm, no, no, okay, no. I thought, I thought that, talking, right? I thought it wasn't, I know it, it's, it's bad to do, but I didn't know it was going to be that bad. I'll start but Dave, okay, you started, talking. you started at porn, right? Let's just keep, let's keep the main thing, the main thing, Dave, all right? I'm trying to help you, all right? Just keep, focus on my voice and the question, all right? We good? Yeah. All right. You said you started watching porn and a lot of daddy-daughter stuff, am I correct? Yeah. Yes. Okay. What age was you attracted to the most? 17. Okay, but these little girls that you thought, they were pretty young. So what made you go lower? I don't know. I mean, there has to be somewhere. I mean, it's okay. I know you're embarrassed. There's a woman in front of you. Yeah, but somebody else said, I know you're embarrassed. Don't worry about it, you know? But I, I don't want, I don't want to, like, see it, like, go to. I hear that, but we're just trying to, yeah, we're, trying to we're trying to, you know, get you some help. Yeah. 
I just want you to be honest with me. I am being honest. How many dating, okay, how many dating apps was you on before? Just uh, Me24. Just Me24. On Me24, Me hear me out, there's a lot of little girls on there too. They hit up older guys, I seen it, right? How many little girls hit you up on that account? Mm, none, I don't think. Honest, honestly, honestly, none, honest. None, I don't think. Mm -hmm. I think I talked to them. I don't think they... Okay. In this conversations you had with these little girls, right? How I don't many know. times have you asked them for pictures? Nude pictures? Honestly. I don't think I asked for any. I don't think I asked for any. I think I just asked for, like, a pretty picture. That's okay, it. Okay, did any of them... Has any of them sent you nasty pictures? Without you asking for it? Be honest, I it's okay. Think a few. Yeah, I think huh? a few, a few, without a few? me asking. Okay. See, there's nothing wrong with that. You're being honest. Being honest. See, painless, right? Thank you. You know. And how many times that has that happened to you? Roughly. I don't. I don't remember. I can't. You can't remember. Two, three times, maybe. All right. All right. There's nothing wrong with that. Um, did you keep those pictures? Did nope. it stimulate you in any way? Nope. No? Nope. You didn't, you didn't get you stimulated in any, no, no kind of way? Nope. Okay, alright. So those pictures are gone, those accounts I are never, gone? I never, I never kept them. Well, I'm just asking you a question. No, I, I know they sent it to you. I know they sent it to you. Like you said, are those accounts still there? No. Nope. Are they, I... those girls still talk to you and try to talk to you and stuff? Nope. Nope. Okay. So you have to I appreciate your honesty. There you go. Painless, right? So you never used Kick or Telegram before? Tell the only time I used Telegram is when I had from one of my jobs. Okay. And how was that? And I got uh I got a um hacked. You got hacked? Yeah. What happened? I don't know. It just I just what couldn't mean? I just couldn't what get on there. I mean, you got hacked, like, what happened? Like, did you get to turn your phone on? Like, there was images on your phone? Like, what was what was the problem? It just, other, I just got hacked from something, and I couldn't get back on it for my job, so I just got rid of the app. Okay, but um, did you did you hit a link or something? I don't, no, I hit no link. It was just for my job. They said- I don't understand that, but like, they you said, said you had Telegram. Did you hit a link? No. Oh, you never, you never came across no mega links or anything on that. No. How about on Instagram? Do you have Instagram? Years ago, I got rid of it. You got rid of it, so you don't have no Instagram right now. No. That um, me twenty four. Face me twenty four on Facebook. Yep. Okay. So again, what was the youngest age you spoke to? what they said 11 yeah 11 i Dave, think I someone want to this, I, I want you to answer this honestly Dave. i think someone's trying to call david right now mm -hmm. no what was our question oh um. wow see you took this off track real quick so. sorry it's okay it's all right so you said um, 10 was the youngest, right? No, I think they said 11. 11? Well, who's so attracted to the 11? What made you want to have a conversation with 11 year old? Yeah, somebody's trying to call you. No, it was a uh, Gmail. Hmm. Oh, come on, Dave. Just. Well, what well, made you want to carry a conversation with an 11 year old and talk explicitly to him? Mm, it's just. Uh, like you said, this is a sickness, so. It's a sickness? Yeah. I mean, what was attracted about the 10 year old? Can you be honest? We've always already heard before, Dave. We heard that. We've heard way crazier stories. Whatever you're going to tell us. You probably can't top the craziest story. You know? 
Just say hi and, and see yeah, Just say hi and tell them that they're cute. That's all. Okay, but what was so attractive? What made like you saying cute? What was so cute about the tail? I mean, the leather work. That'd be I really, Dave. I really don't know, right now. You really don't know. Yeah. But I mean, at the same time, Dave, you said you're cute, but um, I also think I wanna do some nasty things with you. So there had to be something there, like took over you. Was it what? Like what is it? It has to be something, Dave. It's okay, don't be embarrassed. I mean, again, I heard so many stories, Dave, so this is nothing. It's a walk in the park right now. And you're doing really good at this point. It's really, it's like I said, uh, being cute and that's, that's it. I understand that being cute, but when you started talking explicit to me, what was going through your mind? What was your fantasy? Wait, what it's was those are the I, things I want to know. I can't, like at this moment, I can't, I can't say at this moment because I don't remember what it was. Okay, but how about the other girls? No, that'd be something, Dave. Same thing. It's just. Do you, are you working right now? I'm supposed to be working at six. Do you get bored or something? Or? No. What do, you, what do you do? Where do you work? I work at a restaurant. Oh. Do you, Dave, can you be honest with me? Just be completely honest with me. When you out and about in your daytime, right? And you see a girl that resembles the deep, the little girls that you speak into online, what goes through your mind? Nothing. Nothing? There gotta be something. I mean, Cause you go right back in line okay. and start talking to these little girls. One second, Jen. You, no, can, you can answer it. Don't say the name. Just answer it, please, if you could, and throw it on speaker for us. Hello. Hello, David. This is Kyra. How you doing, buddy? Good. You having a happy day? Somewhat. You want to roll play? No. So who is that? Year, that's what you wanted to do. So another one? For another year? Well, buddy, you wanted to role play with me for the last year? What are you wearing? You wearing an American English shirt? No. You're not? Are you lying? I think you're lying. So we're up to eight now? How many, how many decoys do you have, sir? Um, over the last year, I've probably had five. Wow. Hey, raise your head up, buddy. Be proud of what you're doing. You know where you belong? I'm gonna keep, I'm gonna keep this PG because this ain't my stream. But, you know where you belong. Look at, look at the ground, because that's where you belong. How many kids have you actually hurt, man? Real kids. How many real kids have you touched or hurt? I touched nobody. You've never tried to, to hurt a real child? Nope. Dave, this is what I was trying to ask you. When you out and about and you see little well, girls hey, that well, resemble like the girls that you're talking to online, what goes through your head? Because you go right back online. You didn't want to play with her no more because she didn't want to role play with you. You don't want to hear her. Hey, Sammy, do you care if I'm reading some messages? No, go right ahead, love. Send me a sexy pic, please. How old are you? Who is this, David? Hey, so 
sorry, I've been busy. Hi, how's it going? I'm good. Send me a second pick if you please. I'm 15. I don't send nudes. Send me a second pick, please. I mean, I told you, do you do you want to role play or video call? I don't role play. I can, I can try to call when my mom's not around. Why don't you role play? What are you wearing? Why do you, can I talk to your 15 year old that way? Huh? Can I, am I allowed to talk to your 15 year old niece that way? No. Or your 11 year old niece? What's too young? Would you go five, six years old? Is age just a number? Seven or eight? What's the lowest? Because we've already hit 11. Oh, oh boy. <clears throat> well, I'm going to get off here because I'm sure there's other people want to call me. Hey, Jeff, What do you got to say for yourself, David? <clears throat> that I'm ashamed of myself. You're ashamed. So what is your cutoff, David? 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. Stop me. Let me know. 5, 4, 3. What's your cutoff, Dave? Like, not that, you know? No, honestly, be honest with me. What is your cutoff age? It's okay. 17. 17. Dave, you went down to Oh, my in. God. Are you serious? How old Don't were the these, honest with me? these right here that you were talking to were 13. You just said you were talking to one that was 11. So what's your cutoff? Be honest. Quit trying to bullshit us. I'm not bullshit. You are. You're with another to call. Your old that should, that, that, my, that should be your cutoff, right? Right? Am I right or wrong? What's that? Day 17. If you're talking to an 11-year-old, just the 17 is out the window. That's not your cutoff no more. You understand this, right? Do you? Yeah. So stop. You sound been really dumb. I thought you was going to be completely honest. With I you. am I'm honest. Trying to, I'm not, I don't want to bad you. I don't want to curse you out. I'm, out, I'm, I'm being honest. I'm just trying to have a conversation with you without you lying. I'm being honest. So what is your cut of Don't know. You don't know. See, there you go. You don't know. So we'll be lower than 11? Nope. How do you know that? You said you just don't know. Won't be that low. How, how, how do we know that? Because I'm an honest person. I told you it won't be below that. Well, you just trying to lie to me just now. No. Okay, Dave. So again, when you out and about, you your day, me? you woke it. Is that your girlfriend? You see, you, you see a little girl that resembles one of the little girls you're talking to online. What goes through your head? Quick. Say it, say it one more time. When you're out and about, outside, in the world, and you see a little girl that resembles a little girl that you're talking to online, what goes through your head? Is that her? Nothing. Nothing? No, you might want to answer that one too. Well, Sam, I'm gonna let you cook. Um, Dave, you're a fucking scumbag piece of shit. Hello? Straight facts. Nope. I don't know who that one was. Like, this is, like, unreal to me. You have all these people who are calling you about children. Your phone's ringing again, sir. That you've been talking to online. Hello? Oh, I'm so sorry. Sorry, David, I didn't mean to hang up on you. I'm actually on vacation here in Texas, but Dave, just watching here on Facebook, I wanted to let you know that uh, we kind of shared you out to you know, roughly around 300,000 people. David, I understand you're going through a tough time here, and it's not looking good for you. Um, but with all these people talking to you, I want you to just be honest with them. Brokus is seeing the conversation.
conversations you've had with some of these girls is, is pretty sickening. And uh, I want you to know that, like, David, you, I heard you say to her that it's just talk. I want you to know, David, literally, I, will, I put people in prison in Illinois just for talk. I don't even get, I don't even talk to these guys in person. Like, they're giving you the opportunity. I yeah. just, I will turn it in in Illinois and they go to prison, David. And I'm, I'm, I'm trying to be honest with them. I'm saying that I saw the, the, what they had there. I'm trying to tell them that I don't want, I don't want to go to jail. Well, David, that's irrelevant. You, I mean, you don't think you deserve to go to jail. You think the, you think having conversations with underage girls Which, and it just no repercussions. You don't even, you don't even have to hear them say, no, I don't want to call my girlfriend because, you know, she's going to be mad. David, man the fuck up, dude. If you messed up, call her and let her know because you know what? I'm going to tell you this. She would rather hear it come out of your mouth. Right, but then, then. All over social media. The thing that I'm trying, I'm, I know I just, I know I did something bad. I know I'm not, that was not right what I did. But, but David, you only, you know what people say this, dude, I've talked to hundreds of guys and they say, yeah, I know I did something bad. You only know you did something bad after you got caught. Right. You know, if you did it one time and then you caught it, oh, well, I shouldn't be doing that. But dude, you literally, there's been like, how many people called in that you're talking to, you know, these accounts that are underage. It's, it's a sick. Right. And so when we say you need help, and you're like, no, I don't, I don't think I need help. No, I didn't say, I didn't say that. I, 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 I'll, 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 I'd rather get help than go to, go to jail. Well, well, David, just, I mean, you, you need to go to jail. You don't think you, you don't think that people like you should be incarcerated. You think they should just be walking our streets free, and they're getting help, so it's okay. David, 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 I catch guys that are, some, they're supposed to already went through treatment. They've already went to the prison, and they, they've been out, and they're still doing the same thing. Like, you need some serious, serious help. Like, if I, get, if I get help, and I'd rather get help than go to jail. So, so you just think that there should be no consequences for no. your actions other than help? Because, David, how do you know that, like, yeah, granted, like, some of these accounts weren't an actual child. How do, how do we know that you haven't talked to real children? They looking at your Facebook and your message and just anybody and everybody. I, you have a you have a girlfriend. What? Why are why are you even entertaining anybody else? Like not only are you are you entertaining somebody else, but you're entertaining children behind your girlfriend's back. <clears throat> honest with, with them over here and and I'm trying to be the be the right thing to do is tell them the honesty and then I'm trying to, I'm hopefully that they don't call the police and that stuff. I rather I'd rather go I'd rather find a I'd rather find a place for this kind of stuff so I can go get help. That's what I'm trying to do. Yeah, but it, I, but. And you, hold on, and you knew that these were children ranging from what I heard 10 to 13, correct? 11. Uh, 11 to 13, 14, 15. Okay. Yeah. I just want to clarify that for you, that, you know, you, you kind of have an attraction to minors, is that fair to say? Eh. Somewhat, not not all the time, but somewhat. Yeah. All right, David. Well, uh, my name is Pete, uh, Pete Hunter. So I, I hope you have a good day. I'm gonna continue watching here and, and hope hope for the best for you. And uh, what what you're hoping for and what I'm hoping for is probably two different things. So uh, have a great day. Bye bye. 
Are any more going to call you? Golly, this is crazy. Like, I'm standing here blown away right now. You're going to be honest with us, but not your wife or your girlfriend. Still not going to be. Like, like I said, you guys earlier, I said, if I call her now or, or she hears a fun thing, yeah, yeah, she's still going to get mad. Yeah, we heard that. Yeah. I'm just, I'm just saying. We know that. I'm still just disgusted in that. That that's how your brain works. All right. Well, I guess um, we will go out here and uh, do what we need to do. And um, like, I hope it works out for you. Whatever that is. Um, I'm going to call law enforcement and see if I can get an officer to come out. Um, if I would do, I would maybe just kind of hang out or wouldn't leave because I don't know if they would consider that a crime or not leaving. Because I got to be work at six. Well, I mean, I can bring them to your work. Why don't you call your work and let them know what's going on before you lose your job? I don't think you're going to make it there at 6, well. Someone's texting you? Someone's blowing you up. Just emails. Hmm. Do you want to call your work? I have to find the number first. I don't have it on my phone. I can look it up. Well, go ahead. I can. I mean, do you want me to wait? You want me to look it up for you? No, I'll look it up. Okay. All right. I'm going to go out here and call law enforcement. Um... Uh, you might want to call your girlfriend, just in case. And be honest with her. Don't lie to her. They're blowing you up. Somebody's blowing you up, huh? You get a lot of emails. It's text messages. Oh, is one your girlfriend? No. Damn. I was hoping maybe you would reply back to her and say, hey, there's a lady here who's about to go call the police and have them come to the house. I'm just trying to tell numbers. I can call my work. Tell them to... You get a lot of text messages. Girls Did you get hacked again? No. Still can't find that work number? Nope, I, I got so many numbers, so many hmm. text messages. Google it. No, it's in here. I have a friend that would say, Google it, bitch. <laughs> it's in here. <laughs> Are you going to text message him? Yeah. Oh, no. Hit that call button. Why don't you just call there. him? Hit that call button up there. No. Yeah. Yeah. Go ahead and hit that call button up there. Mm-hmm. Why don't you want to hit the call button? Huh? Yeah. See, if he called, you wouldn't have fucked up. You could have got your message across. No, they, they, they get messages. No, give them a call, though. You just respond back to me. What do you say? Call him? Call oh, How late? No. You don't want them to know what's going on? Um, no. you, you might want to say I'm about to have interaction with law enforcement, so I'm not for sure. I said I'm not sure. Hmm. That's all I said. Well. You should probably see. I would see who's texting you. Somebody wants to talk to you. Is that one of the girls? 
Is that one of the girls that you've been talking to texting you? Work again? Hit that phone button up there. No, you can't act like that in jail. So you're not going to call her? You're not. You're a pussy. I can tell. We're out of here. We're going to go out here and wait for the police to show up. And um, I'm going to call your girlfriend while I'm out here. Is that okay? She she'll, won't. Find, she'll find out anyway. So. All right. So it's easier for you to let me do it. I get it. Big man. <laughs> Hello. Say hello. Go ahead and answer that. Hello. Hey, David. I was reading, reading all the chat messages I had from October the 9th with my 13-year-old. And you asked for role play. You asked for video. Mm. Um, Who was that? Another little girl's concerned parent, probably. Say October. I remember October. What'd she say her name was? She didn't say. Hmm. Okay, so I'm gonna stand right here. He's gonna step outside for just a second for me and grab something, and I'm gonna stand right here. So I don't have to worry about being safe. So what we usually do, um, police are being called. Um, we'll usually just kind of hang out until they get here. Uh, we'll wait for a little while. That way we can make sure you're safe. You're not hurting yourself. You're not hurting anyone else. Um, I'd hate to walk out of here and something happened to you because you're scared. <clears throat> We're not an easy bunch of people to get rid of. So, I mean, maybe you could shoot your girlfriend a text message. Don't call her, text her and say, hey, there's a, I mean, I would call this an emergency at home if it were me, but just saying.
Well. So two of these girls you were talking to for over a year. Is that correct? I heard two of them say a year. Right? I think so. If you went, say, say if you were at your sister's house, right? And someone showed up at your sister's house for something like this for, say, I don't know, her husband or somebody. What do you think she would do? What do you think she would want to happen to that person that's online talking to nine, 10, 11 year old little girls? Like if we showed up there and said, hey, your husband's doing this. How do you, what, what do you think she would want to happen? Would she say, oh, he won't do it again. You just, can you just leave? And he won't do it again. Do you think that's what your sister would say? No. But that's what we should do for you, right? After we've got how many girls now are we up to? I've lost count. Like, really fast. Like 10 was that last call. All right, like I'm, like you're just incurable in my opinion. So we're gonna step outside and wait for law enforcement to get here. Um, I hope you have a shitty night. Sorry, but not sorry. I just can't, no more. I just can't no more guys he's he's a piece of shit he's not gonna stop and it's getting dark and I want to go the fuck home so there y'all have it lovey he is 55 I'm not staying in there Anna like I just can't You can only stand around somebody that's just not going to be honest for so long. <clears throat> One second. There you go, guys. Oh. oh, you're welcome. Again, before I before my phone dies. <sighs> Hang on guys, I'm gonna get some plugged in here. Okay. I'm gonna we'll put you guys up here. So it's not going to work and it won't let me turn it sideways, so I guess I have to hold it. <laughs> you 
can start us up if you want. So we don't freeze. I'm going to turn off this Bluetooth. Thank you to anybody and everybody that has sent um, donations to help. I appreciate you so, so much. Um, that's going to help get us back home. Um, we're going to sit here and wait for law enforcement. Um, yes, we're going to hang out. We kind of have to. But I appreciate you guys, everybody that's helped. Um, I appreciate you so, so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um. <clears throat> The phone on the way. <laughs> Thank you guys. Um, I don't have an ETA because I'm because I'm live with you guys, so I'm not sure um, of, of an ETA. Um, this cat. Illinois. I've been to Ohio so much. I'm just used to saying Ohio, but we are in Northern Illinois. No, I have not called his girlfriend, but I'm sure she already has been notified. Thank you guys. I appreciate you. Thank you all for coming and hang. I don't even know, like, this app doesn't tell you how many people are here. So thank you to everybody on Facebook, uh, everybody on YouTube. I tried earlier, guys. I'm sorry that that one didn't work out. Um... He was a snaky little bugger, that one was. But we got this one and he didn't think that he was going to get got. So, got him. Um, what town? I, I don't want to say until I'm away from here, honestly. <laughs> Thank you guys, I appreciate you. I don't want to say anybody's name because I don't want to dox anyone's information, but thank you so, so, so much. I appreciate you. Um, yeah, so. <coughs> Here we are. Thank you, FM. Um, FM also decoyed this guy. Uh, everybody knows who all's been talking to him. Like, this is just mind-blowing. Like, I'm... I'm blown away right now at this, honestly. I'm blown away. Uh, it is my pleasure. You're all, you're, you're welcome. <coughs> okay, Ashley. Thank you, Misty. Yeah, you guys, um, share, share, share. Share, 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 smash the like. Share, let's get this out there. Let's get this guy's face out there because he's obviously fucking disgusting. <sighs> yes, and thank you to my friend LARP for coming on the catch with me. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all, let's see what what this what happens. Let's hope. One second, guys. Hold on. We are. Let's see if it lets me back in. Okay, sorry, guys. in the link to this live on Facebook. Um. <clears throat> Was somebody able um, to, to get my pickles ordered? Just wondering.
くるのかな We could do that. Oh, I hear sirens. I wonder if they're coming. I hear sirens, y'all. Shoo, I'm exhausted. I'm beat. I'm just beat. Sorry guys, had to have a little conversation real quick. But yeah, so I appreciate everybody that came to watch the catch, that hung out for all those phone calls. That was pretty awesome that everybody got to call in and he actually answered. Just waiting now, guys. That all we can do is wait. All we can do is wait. My battery is getting low though, so hopefully they don't take too long. Thanks, you guys. Appreciate you, White Claw, Taco, Nunya, for putting in, putting in the work, looking, looking people up for us, helping us find them at the drop of a dime, no matter when it is. Walmart one two thank you thank you for King Bang Dirty South Ethel I love you back on you Becky Control Hi guys everybody Dan Brown thank you everybody APP for being here I appreciate y'all ADHD Mallory Bobby Joe Kitty Kitty Mallory. Let's see who else. Roland. Connie. Oh, radios. Snarky guy. I underestimated earlier. Yeah. Kelly. Fat man. Becky, thank you. Mickey. Thank you guys. I appreciate y'all. Garrett, JD, Redbeard, we're not starting over. Fran, thank you. Jen, thank you. Tom, Mindy, thank you guys. Satan, Chicken Rooster, everybody, thank you guys. It's been a long day. Been a long day. Hopefully he'll get arrested. That'd make it all worthwhile, right? It makes it all worth it when you hear them click click. <laughs> Tasha I love you girl. Lava blue. Dad, Fran, Rumske, FM, Smash, Serena, Gavin, Dickie, Laura Pickle, Connie, Big Time, <laughs> Taco, sending you all kinds of love, honey. Mm-hmm. <laughs>
Right, if he called, have him call and tell him there's some lady out here with a <coughs> camera being weird. <laughs> there's a lady out here with a camera and I'm scared. <laughs> Thank you, Clit. <laughs> that sounds weird <laughs> to say. I hate saying your fucking name. <laughs> he was sweating. What is BAP? Bikers Against Predators. Slow as molasses. That's okay. If we have to, we can call back here in a minute. I mean, we're in a city, like, a, this is a big, like, city, city type, so. Thank you, thank you, guys. I appreciate you. I appreciate you. I lost me fucking light to. I will, James, I promise I will. Thank you guys. I know I got a lighter here someplace. Yeah, they, they don't stop. Somebody said, LARP, how was your first catch? <laughs> he said he's not answering you. <laughs> he said no comment, sir. <laughs> I kept calling him sir. Sir? <laughs> hey, sir. <laughs> Serena, Veronica, no, he's not, Lark said he got left behind, he needs to be picked up by Ryan, <laughs> thank you, Butcher, Ashley said, Lark, great work, <laughs> Wow, Lala. That's wild. <laughs> oh, thank you, Mummy. Thank you, Vladdy. Thank you, guys. I appreciate y'all being here and hanging out with us. Tommy, thank you for being here. He had every sign of having a heart attack. Yeah, he, he started sweating, didn't he? <laughs> Thank you, APP, Southern Bell, all of y'all that, that reached out to the other catchers and said, hey, come and check this guy out. I appreciate you. Thank you for that. I appreciate it. So LARP was LARPing. Maybe I was LARPing. <laughs> Bill Evans, thank you so much. Thank you for being here. It was off the charts. It it worked out. It worked out. And what is funny is none of these like this wasn't planned. None of this was planned, you guys. <laughs> this was mine. And FM's catch that him and I had decoyed, and that was all we knew until we got here. Yes, I have my phone plugged in, Connie. <laughs> He's still sweating, OJ. <laughs> it was not planned. It was not planned. It just, it just happened. 
It just happened that way. Larp, thank you for coming on the catch with me. <laughs> yeah, I thought he was going to cry too for a second. <laughs> I like it when they cry. <laughs> Bill Evans, thank you. I appreciate you so much. You're stranded. Can at least get an Uber. Larp, I'm coming back for you. Just stay there. Golly. <laughs> Jen Savage, yes, it was amazing how it, just, it worked out on everything. It's crazy how many decoys called. Well, and that goes to show everyone that sharing these catches matters a ton. It matters a fuck ton, right? Thank you, Anne Marie. Thank you, everybody. Um, everybody who's donated, I appreciate you so much. I'm, I don't want to dox anyone's name, so I'm sorry. If I don't shout you out personally, it's not because I don't appreciate you. I just don't want people to have your information. Um, can I get somebody to order some fried pickles one more time? See if they're going to show. One more time. Okay, I see you. Um, I see your messages coming in. I will check all of your guys' stuff um, when I get back home. Jersey Stang, Bingo's mom, Daisy. Thank you guys for being here. Eloy, thank you. Anne Marie. I want to give you guys something to look at, but there's really nothing. It's like apartments. Okay, Emily, I'll get you taken care of while I'll check it out for you. If you can't come in, I probably just need to approve your um, your request. And I'll, I'll as soon as I get you approved, you should be able to comment. Um, I'm sorry that you can't right now. You're going to find a rooster and take revenge. You leave the roosters alone. <laughs> it's okay. I, you guys may have sent a request that I just haven't got to approve yet. I'll get, it, I'll get you taken care of, guys. Ryan's pilot flew him out this afternoon. See? <laughs> Larping, larping. So I had someone else lined up to come with me, but they chickened out at the last minute. <laughs> um, Lois, I think we totaled up nine, I think. Yeah, Nanya booked the flight, so. <laughs> Thank you, Roddy. I appreciate you being here. Does it, Kelly? I'll have to check it out. I haven't been live on there for a while. I know that I just enabled my stars and stuff on there. So, I, I, like, I don't even know if it works. <coughs> I just know that I enabled it all. So, oh, Lioness had him too. Nice. You love pickles. I do too. Especially fried pickles. Lark got flued out, Serena. <laughs> Yeah, think of all the kids that he's talked to that were not decoys. Thank you, James. Hey, right, he's pretty hard up. He's got a girlfriend, Lois. He, he did, Roots. He cried the whole flight. You already dox, dox my first name. Oh, my God. Okay, I'm sorry, Lark. <laughs> you 
Yes, Nanya, thank you for what you do. FM decoying is amazing. The call, you guys' calls were amazing. Thank you for calling all of you who called. Thank you. I appreciate that you guys took a moment out of your day to make those phone calls. I, I really do. Right, Vicky, maybe she'll pull up. Right, Chicken Rooster? More reasons to make sure you check your kids' phones. Check, check their iPads, check their tablets, all of that. Check all of that. How did I get his number? Well, a little birdie. <laughs> We got lucky. That's, we got lucky. Little Birdie helped me out with this today. Wasn't anybody... I... Nunya did the damn thing. We'll just say that. Nunya did the damn thing. FM, Nunya, y'all did the damn thing. That's all I'm going to say. There was another person, but I cannot say that person. But thank you to all involved helping us get to this fucker today. <laughs> Who is Nanya? I don't know. What does she even do? <laughs> thank you, Harper. DCPE said he has messaged you files and... Okay. Thank you, Kelly. Nanya is the goat. Yes, she is, Laura. Oh, thank you. I don't want to dox you, but thank you for the $50. I appreciate you so much. Thank you. Basically taking credit for this catch. Yeah, I'm the secret looker-upper. Get over it. <laughs> LARP, I thought you would have fun with this. <laughs> Two youngest granddaughters, my son and his wife, don't check their phones. Well, show them these videos. Share these videos with them. Share this video with them. Maybe it'll scare them into checking those phones. Wait till after this video and his pics is all around and see how many more reach out. Yeah. You think of business when you say Nunya? That's her name. It's none your business at all. <laughs> That's her name. <laughs> Facebook's wondering who you are, Nanya. <laughs> yes, thank you to everybody that's sending those chat logs. Clown Force, happy birthday. Been trying to get them. Tell them this is this is one to watch. This is one to really watch. <laughs> then you should you should go over there and comment so they can see your name. Because <laughs> I'm not really just saying it's none of their business at all. <laughs> what a little ghetto in it. <laughs> So, um, sugar bean, hi honey. Um, the sound of your window rolling up or down was cute, but you got ADHD, you kill me. You kill me, coolie and kittens. Hi, y'all. Appreciate y'all being here. I think I know exactly where you are. I want to point you in the right direction to grab some food. Yeah, I'm I'm hungry, Roots. I'm hungry. <laughs> oh, I love you back, kittens. Oh, you're welcome for getting George. He was gross. He was disgusting, that dude. Ugh.
Was a second call put in, guys? Just curious. Um. Yeah, it's okay. I'm, I'm like, not yet, Dan. We're working on it. We're working on it. We're putting those calls in. No. We're trying to be patient. No, Dad, I'm sure she's already, she's been notified. Um, <laughs> thank you, Lois. We're just trying to be patient, y'all. Just trying to be patient. Thank you, Ben. I appreciate you. Um, this is actually the first time I've been to Illinois. Did he leave and go to work? Mmm. Not sure. I might walk back around there. Might me just walk me back around there real quick and see. Let him know that we're waiting. Just keep him informed. You know. Yeah, no roots. I've never been. I'm, this is the first one in Illinois. It's always fucking <laughs> Ohio. I've been to <coughs> Illinois for regular shit, but I mean, for this is my first Illinois catch. Can I take off slow mode? What kind of thing? I don't even want to really map. Oh, slow mode. Oh, okay. Can somebody do that? <laughs> You're welcome. Thank you, Bobby Joe. He peeping out the window. Oh, I bet he is. James always gets his way. I know, Serena. He's a spoiled brat. He's fucking rotten. <laughs> He's too gutless. Yeah, right, Terrence? Start from the beginning. Yeah, almost always. You're almost always a brat. <laughs> I 
Thank you, Atlanta girl. I appreciate you. You're awesome, too. Who's watching? Yay, yeah, could be. Hi, David. We're just waiting for police if you're watching. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> I, I see you, Nanya. I got you, girl. Oh, man. It'd be nice if they came now would be great <laughs> taco cat you are awesome what do you mean you are awesome okay david long ways not across <laughs> tbp police wait times yeah Candy, yes, I have. We did do the catch. Vicky, good old Joe. He needs a grave in his name. <laughs> <laughs> Your grilled cheese is cute, built good. I bet it is. <laughs> At my mom's tonight. Oh, that's okay, Mallory. Love you back, hon. Send y'all the love back. You want a good, built, cute grilled cheese? <laughs> Nanya's doing a drive-by LARP. Get ready. <laughs> She's going to put you in the trunk. <laughs> Your wife loves what? I don't know why. Jerry? <laughs> he had huge bags under his eyes. Probably from all the kids he's talking to. All the... <laughs> You should have seen all the females in his inbox. It was disgusting. It was terrible. It was terrible. Did it catch the ass face already? Yes. Go beat on the door like you're the cops. Then I didn't video him. <laughs> Nanya, don't forget to stop for LARP and put him in the trunk. Roots' phone is dead. I think that's what they're saying. He's a spawn of Satan. Oh. Wow. Okay. <laughs> okay, Nanya. What is all this cute, built good stuff? Who says that, right? <laughs> D. <laughs> Daisy, I agree. He's a piece of shit. I'll tell you what. Two words for you. I was in a role-playing chat room dude and people said my character was cute built good what <laughs> what's the word we got another call going in right now okay Dan I will are the fuzz coming we hope so oh we got Dan and Dan 
Hi, Dan's. Just go to the station and make a statement. Yeah, we got someone calling, Gavin. Oh shit, Nunya and Roots gotta pay Laura for being their secretary. ADHD, you're gonna have to find a new joke. They're all telling you that cute and built good is... Ooh. Isn't this him right here? Is this him? Mm-hmm. Are you going to work, David? Huh? Are you going to work? I'm going to work. Oh, okay. We're still waiting for the police. We put another call in, so they should be coming. I said, are you going to work? He said, I'm throwing my garbage away. He's spouting. Hang on, guys. What's the name of your organization again? I know there's a few different ones. Um, I'm Predator Hunters Indiana.
Okay, guys, I just got off the phone with dispatch. She is sending them right now. So they are coming. Um, they are familiar with what we do. <clears throat> um, and she said that next time, since this is the first time coming here, she said that they like for us to call five minutes before we get to where we're at. So we know that for next time. I explained we've never been here before, so we didn't know. But they are on their way. They are on their way. I'm trying to read your eyes. Cooling. Donuts. You guys are talking about buying donuts. Yeah, APP, because there's a lot. There's a lot. <laughs> yeah, FM, I'm going to make sure they know that as well. Uh, he hasn't went anywhere. I'm watching. Tell us the story of what happened. So he started texting New York Creep Spotlight. And then when FM started talking about his cousin, he asked to text her as well. So then he started texting my decoy. And here we are. <laughs> And we've that totaled up nine decoys that he's talking to. So, he's deep in this shit, yes. That's right, LARP, you're catching him. <laughs> and now is when he knew. He fucked up. <laughs> he knew right now. I don't know to see it so dark. It's getting dark. You're welcome. Thank you, thank you guys. I appreciate you. Jason, thank you. I can't lie, I was worried if we was really going to find him or not. <laughs> Does he have a laptop or a desktop PC? I didn't see one. What did the cops say? Um, they're coming right now. She's dispatching them to us now. So go grab the garbage bag for your electronics. Amazing catch. Keep it up. Thank you, Luca. I'm going to let him know that he come out and threw something away. Oh, I think we may have him. Hello. Hi, how are you? Hi. I have a folder for you. What's going on? So we have a gentleman in here. His name is David Ritz. Um, hang on one second, guys.
All right, guys. Police presence. And I have been asked to go down to the police station. I just came back so I could let you guys know I've got to go to the police station. For whatever reason, the officer doesn't want to stand out here. He's afraid to stand out here. Said something about he don't.